Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Coucou à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a story time. I'm super excited because this is my very first 2022 story time. So yeah, I know you guys enjoy my story time. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. And it's when my boyfriend's girlfriend reached out to me. Technically, she was like, let's talk woman to woman type. So yeah, we're going to talk about that today. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It is free. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can get a every single time I upload a new video also do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms Instagram Twitter Snapchat and TikTok the link will be in the description box down below for your convenience and yeah let's get started all right you guys so actually this relationship was my longest one before I met my husband I have done a side chick story time about this whole relationship in the past I'll include it up here okay so you guys can check it out after you watch this video and apparently I was a side chick in the relationship and I didn't know so his main chick reached out to me to talk to me woman to woman but yeah this was actually my longest relationship like i said and he was older than me so he had his own place his own car a nice job all that the main chick was around his age right like i said he was older than me and i was still in high school at this time so one beautiful day i was minding my business I was just being just slang like usual, right? I go on Facebook and I see that somebody sent me a friend request, right? So I went ahead and I approved the friend request. Mind you, I did not know who she was. I did not know what she really looked like. Like, I wasn't thinking. I'm like, okay, somebody follow me, I follow back, fine. You know, especially back in the days, we were all about getting mad followers on Instagram, Facebook, and all that. So... Getting followers was like a big thing. So I was like, okay, somebody follow me, I'll follow back. Like, I wasn't really thinking about anything else. Besides, okay, it's just one more follower in my follower list. A little on that day, the girl reached out to me and was like, hey girl, can we talk woman to woman? And then in my head, I'm like, who the hell are you? But I was like, oh yeah, sure, what's going on? And then she was like, do you know, and put our ex name, because now he's our ex, you know. At that time, she was still with him. You know, by the time she reached out to me, woman to woman, she was still with him. But I had already broken up with him. Like, I had just broken up with him. So, it was like, why is somebody reaching out to me asking me about my ex? And it's still so fresh. Like, we just broke up. Like, weird, right? So, I was like, we're going to call him. We're going to call him Cat. Because his name starts with a C. Actually, Cat is so cute for him. We're going to call him Nasty. So, I was like, oh, yeah, I know Nasty. That's my ex. And she was like, oh, really? I said, do you know Nasty? She was like, yeah, I know Nasty. That's my boyfriend. And I was like, oh, wow, since when? She was like, we've been together for three plus years. And then I was like, oh, okay, good to know. And that's when I got a click. I was like, now that makes sense. If you guys watch my side chick story time, I actually want you guys to go watch it. I'll make sure I put the eye up here so y'all can check it out. So now it put two and two together. And I was like, so this is the main chick. Because I had never really, like, cared to really find out who she was. I heard her voice on the phone, I knew her name, but her Facebook name and her real name is not the same. So at the beginning, of course, I was hurt. I wanted to find out who she was, but I was not able to. And if you guys don't know, let me spoil it a little bit. He had two Facebook, one Facebook where he was posting him and I on, and the other Facebook where he was posting him and that girl. So I couldn't find her in his friend request or anything. After a couple of days of us working up, I just decided to just give up on finding who the girl was. So I left it alone. But guess what? <laughs> the girl came to me, okay? I'm like, the truth shall set you free. If this man will have told the truth since the beginning, none of this could have happened. But let's continue the story. So, but y'all don't worry, okay? Later on, y'all will find out how I know that she wasn't even in that Facebook, okay? All right. And after she said three plus years, she asked me, she was like, how long were you guys together for? I said, um, for a year and three months, I believe. Like, it was something around that. And she was like, actually, can we get on the phone and talk? I really want to talk to you woman to woman. And I was like, yeah, but I'm not comfortable giving you my number. She was like, you can call me with another number. And she sent me her number. So I made sure I was like in my room, seated, well refreshed, well hydrated, because I was like, some stuff will be said, I need to be ready, okay? So I went ahead and called her with an unknown number, you guys know, star six, seven. And she was like, hey girl, I said hi. She was like, yeah, woman to woman, like, what did you guys do together? How much do you know him? I said, girl, I was with a man for a year and some change. 
of course I knew a lot about him like I, I know his apartment I know where he works I know the car he drives I know his friends and I was like on top of that he used to post me on his Facebook and even his friends used to like comment telling me how cute we look together so I was like everybody knew we were together you know while we were dating so it wasn't nothing hidden or new and she was like Facebook I said yeah she was like why Facebook now I'm giving Nasty's Facebook right I gave the Facebook boom and then she's like Lord I said what's going on she was like girl that's a whole different Facebook. I said, what do you mean? She said, he also posts me on his other Facebook. Then the girl goes, sends it to me too. And then I'm like, wow. Mind you, the Facebook where I was posted at had the same friends as the Facebook where he was posting her. And they were like leaving similar comments. Like, couple goals, y'all look so good. This is that the third. I was like... This must be a joke. I must be dreaming. Like, how can people be so fake and mean and evil to the point that in front of me, in front of my face, they were telling me, oh, y'all cute together, oh, y'all our sister-in-law, all this, that, the third. And behind my back, they were entertaining you guys' relationship that was actually going on for longer than hours. Like, I was, I was baffled. And then she was like, yeah, I found out about you. I reached out to him. He told me you were after him. He even blocked you from everywhere that he don't want you. That's when I decided to do some digging and reach out to you, woman to woman, thinking you were the one that I was harassing, technically, my man. And then I was like, girl, no, that's a lie. He lied to you because we were in a whole blown relationship. I was like, he knows my friends. I know his friends. Like, we used to hang out together. We even used to party together. Like, it was a whole blown relationship. So I was like, yeah. You telling me that he made you feel like I was after him, technically harassing him, and he had to block me everywhere because he didn't want nothing to do with me because I was young, and all these things hurt me because it was a whole blown relationship. You know what I'm saying? So the girl was like, yeah, that's why I came to you woman to woman. I just wanted to hear the truth from the horse's mouth, all these type of things. And then I was like, oh, how old are you? And technically, you know, they were around the same age and stuff like that. I was like, I, I think y'all look good together. Y'all should just continue doing what y'all doing together. I personally, I'm done. And thank you so much for telling me what's going on, but I really don't want to know. I don't care about him. I don't care for what's going on in his life. Like, I was like, I'm just done. I'm literally done. I'm done with this guy. I'm done with the relationship. I don't want it no more. And then I was like, by the way, when you used to call him and he wasn't picking up the phone, he was with me because sometimes he used to be like, oh, my ex is calling again. And your name was not saved in his phone. And she was like, guess what? I said, what? She was like, there was also a number calling him when I was with him and it was not saved as well. And then she was like, I think it was your number. I was like, do you remember any digit from the number? She was like, yeah, it was a... 825 number something something technically some numbers from my number so i was like oh that makes so much sense because when he was with me he was on saving your number so every time you called there was no name and when he was with you he was unsaving my number so when i call it was no name i was like wow not only did he have two different facebook where he was posting both of us and the same friends were commenting and liking the pictures he also was playing the phone number thing. So I was like, oh, all right. And on top of that, y'all were together for three plus years. Thank you. I was like, yeah, I'm happy. I know that now. But then again, I was like, yeah, if you love him, stay with him. I'm done with the relationship. I'm done with him. He's nasty. He's disgusting. I don't want him anymore. So if the issue you guys are having right now is because of me, please go ahead and fix your issue because I'm not in the picture anymore. I will never be in the picture anymore. Like I'm done. And then she was like, you know, men are trash, men are dogs. Started telling me all these things. And I was like, all right, girl, thank you so much for coming to me, woman to woman. I told you all I know. If you have any more questions, just reach out to me on Facebook. And if there's anything else that I can tell you, I will tell you. Because I'm an open book. I don't care about him. I don't care about him being in a relationship. Like, I was like, I'm literally done. And she was like, thank you so much. And that was it. We got off the phone. I even think to this day, her and I see friends on Facebook. Like, I never unfollowed her, I just left it alone. And when me and my husband got together, tell me why she went ahead and followed him on his Instagram and his Facebook. I was like, yeah, extremely weird. It's giving very much obsessed. So I got my husband September 2014, and I broke up with that dog. The dog is cleaner than him, with that nasty guy. Um, like around January 2014, I would say. So it has been months and months and months. Why are you following the man I'm dating now? Like... 
yeah very much weird so let me just tell you guys that couple weeks after the girl and i spoke on the phone my ex nasty reached out to me and was like can we please talk i feel bad for what i did to you i did you dirty i really want us to talk i want to tell you the whole truth and yeah i can make a story time about how that conversation went if you guys would like all right you guys at the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did don't forget to give the thumbs up comment down below any other type of video you like to see next if you want to see more story time also comment down below and i got you don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video follow me on my social media platforms instagram twitter Snapchat, and tiktok the link will be in the description box down below for your convenience and yeah if you want to see more story time also thumbs up the video and i got you guys Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.